I've never done this before. Don't worry. It's all automated. Just enjoy the ride. Captain, we're in the path of an unidentified object moving toward us at high speed. Profile suggests an asteroid, ma'am. Three, two, of a flight team. Whoa. My hands are so trippy. Hello, Wolfpack, and welcome to Red Matter 2. Now, if you haven't played the original game or seen a playthrough, I have mine linked in the description below. I am going to give you a brief synopsis because the story of the first game is a little bit confusing and this game starts right as that game ends. So there were five Volgravian scientists on Rhea, which is a moon of Saturn, and they were doing all sorts of secrety science stuff, but uh, eventually a red mold started to creep along the moon, and that is the red matter in the title, and it turns out it was very lethal. So two of the scientists decided they had to evacuate but two wanted to stay there and do more secrety stuff, so they killed those original two. And then they decided they had to evacuate, so they evacuated. But they left the original scientist member on the moon, and they ended up dying because of the mold. Eventually, the Americans came to the base, and they found the corpse of that scientist. And because they had died due to the red matter, their mind was still conscious for some reason. They put that scientist's mind into a simulation. His name was Sasha and they wanted to try to find those Volgravian secrets deep within. But at the end of the game, his mind proved too much for the American conducting the tests, and he took over his body. So Sasha is now in the American. There was also like another undercover agent who is helping Sasha get out, and really that's about all I remember. So we are gonna jump into this. Now the original Red Matter was a relatively short game that dealt with exploration and puzzles, but this game is significantly longer and adds in combat. So there's going to be a lot of pew pew pew, if you know what I mean, and I'm so excited. So let's do this. Sasha? What? Wake up. You can do this. I know you can. Open your eyes. But mom, it's so early. I don't want to go to school. Oh, hi. I can't believe it worked. Sasha? Is that you? I, I think so. Are you alright? How do you feel? Well, um, I don't... Uh, of course. Y you may have trouble speaking for a while. I've had to transfer your mind into a different body. It was our only shot at pulling you from the simulation safely. I know, I know. Bet you have plenty of questions, and I'll tell you what I can, but first, let's get you out of here. Come on, we have to hurry. Um, yeah, okay, beautiful lady in the hologram. No, don't leave me. Ah, that's fine. Oh, snap. All right, the doors are opening. This is the same room that we ended the original Red Matter in. She was standing up there originally. Now she's a giant hologram head. I need to turn with my stick here. And that there is the body of Sasha. Yes, Sasha Reese. But his brain is my brain, and it's now in some sort of American body. So you're in my body, and I'm in your body. And we're in their base. This is cool. The Scientific Intelligence Division of the Atlantic Union. The graphics here are beautiful. I like the light reflection. We got some really comfy seats. And I guess I'm just gonna walk straight through these doors because I don't have a lot of choice. Although I do have a beautiful like satin uniform. This is a really nice elevator. Hey lady, you gonna, you gonna appear again? Or am I just kind of on my own now? This is the Atlantic Union's lunar base. Oh, don't worry. The body you're in belongs to the officer keeping you in custody. You're practically invisible. Just act normal and you won't attract unwanted attention. I can do normal. I should probably introduce myself. I'm an undercover operative here at this base. You can just call me Beta. What's up, Beta? After the Strelka N3 incident, the Atlantic Union captured and subjected you to an experimental procedure. A neural simulation created to extract information from deep within your mind. One more day in there and... We'd have lost you. Well, thank you. Lucky for you, the Cosmo Bureau entrusted me to help you escape. Just follow my instructions and we'll get you out of here in no time. No time. 
Okay, Beta. I'm gonna trust you because you have kind and beautiful eyes. Oh, damn. Oh, this is really cool. Okay, so I have to act normal. I like that I have little hairs on my hand. That is a great little touch. Most people walk with a nice strut. So we're just gonna do a doodly doodle. Okay, okay. First okay. First, hi. You gotta dress the part. You're gonna need a vac suit to make it to the ship docked just outside. And I'm guessing that is my vac suit. I just want to take a quick peek out here before I get into that because this, this is beautiful. So that is Earth, and we're on the moon. That is a normal thing that normal people go to. Ten. Nine. Okay, we're here. And they obviously need suits when they're on the moon, and this one is very impressive, although I feel like my legs are a little short. Oh, okay. All right, I can do this. Do I just push the... Well, how about that? Fits like a glove, huh? Uh, kinda. You can operate the grippers by squeezing the triggers to grab and manipulate objects. Use them to open the sliding doors in front of you. Oh, that is cool. I like that. And they shape the, uh, the, the grippers here based on the controllers that you have, which kind of increases the immersion because... Perfect. Uh -huh. I'm trying to open the airlock from here, but the power's out. You'll need a fuse to fix it. Search the workspace on the lower deck. The engineers always leave spares lying around. Yeah, of course they do. Aim at the fuse with the gripper. Pull it to it. Oh, gravity. Would you look at that? Oh, oh god. Okay, and then this will go in here. I know how the moon works. Well, that is a really cool door. The glass effects is beautiful. And the fact that they did this on the Quest 2 with a lot of these effects intact is just insane to me. By the way, we are playing on PC VR. Just want to make sure that is abundantly clear. But the Quest 2 version of this game is beautiful. If I extend the bridge any farther, it's just going to draw their attention. Okay, this is a perfect chance for you to practice using your suit's built-in thrusters. You know how I love to thrust. Oh no, I don't have any hips. Boost yourself with my back pet. Oh. Oh, oh god. What happens if I fall toward the moon? Oh, you just, you just die immediately. Okay, that's fine. Uh-oh. Nice. Do the same to get to the next one. This time, you'll need to press the right stick to break midair. This will increase your precision when landing. Need a running start here? And <laughs> break, giddy break. Nice. I am really good at this. So that is my energy bar. All right. Oh, that's a big Easy jump. does it. Your jetpack can make it. Trust me on this yeah, one. Yeah, I don't know, Beta. Just make sure you keep holding forward until you reach the other side. Okay. Here we go. The biggest There's jump of my career. Thank you for opening the door. And we're going. I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. Good job. I'll open the storage unit. I appreciate it. And thank you, Moon, for having very low gravity. Thank you, Luna. <laughs> You're probably still feeling a bit disoriented from the neural transfer. Ooh. This might help jog your memory. All these items were recovered from Strelka N3 after the incident. They were used to recreate the simulation you were subjected to. Oh, damn. Your suit features a built-in scanning tool. Press the face buttons on the left side to cycle between your different tools. Oh, that is really cool. You can get additional information about objects that you scan. Try it out. This will help to refresh your memories and settle your mind. Uh, who... who are you? Arena Sarova, Strelka N3's resident biologist. She was killed shortly before the incident took place. Arena and Staz were... romantically involved. Okay, you know, I just had to... had to test it out. Whee! Oh, that is so cool. Everything is just... Interactable. Uh, make sure we get some good scans here. Irina Sarova, Terraform Lab. Aww. I'm sorry that you died. She was the one that warned everybody about the red mold. Is this me? Oh my gosh, is that me? Am I Sasha? Stas Volkov. Nope. Your closest friend back at Strelka Aww, N3. Stas. He was shot and gravely wounded. Then, after the incident, just nothing. No sign of him ever since. We fear the worst. Huh. Yeah, give me those physics. Now this 
This is the guy that I kept seeing in the dreams. Run! I think that might be me. You left behind some friends on Stralka N3. I know you and Stas were close. Uh, we were... Sasha Riss, your true identity. They led you to believe you were someone else in order to increase the simulation's chance of success. This was the, the base. A scale model of Strelka N3. Highly detailed. It was used to generate the simulation's physical environment. That is so cool. We. The red matter. Very little is known about this substance. It was the spark that triggered the Strelka N3 incident. And then you could inject it. That's how he killed Irina. That sound. <sighs> Weird. What? There shouldn't be anything still operational around here. Sasha, see if you can find out where it's coming from. Yeah, no, it's coming from that TV, but there's still so much I want to explore here. Why is my face? Why did they not like me? The full Strelka N3 crew. Well, I mean, you know, kind of. a small but proficient team. So Irina's dead. Stas, her lover, is dead. Olga, she is still alive. And so is Nikolai. They were the two that escaped, and we have no idea where they went to. Rhea, Saturn's second largest moon. It was selected as the ideal home for Stelka N3. Yeah, no, this looks like a real nice planet. It's just water. A long-range transmission terminal. Looks like it's picking up an incoming signal. How is that even possible? Um... Use the right gripper to detach the interface tool on the left side. Once detached, connect it to the terminal's access port. Uh, where did it... Oh. Oh. Oh, that is really cool. Oh, I can play jump rope. Finish. That goes in there. Oh, it translates it for me. That's neat. All right, what kind of signal are we getting here? Uh-huh. SOS. ID. It's, Stas. It's him. Hey, that's my voice. Sasha, you're talking. I mean, I've been talking this entire Stas. time. It's Stas. Stas Volkov, your teammate from N3, your friend? That, that, that's not possible. He was presumed dead. He is not. It's a distress signal. His ID is encoded in the message. That's great news. Okay, let's locate that signal. Uh, yes. Give me the option. Lo, I hope he's like right down there. Right through that door is Stas and he's got like a tea party. And we're just gonna hang out and it's gonna be really nice. Origin? Tosca Station? Tosca Station. We can reach it from here, but the clock is ticking. You have to hurry. Well, okay. Wait, me? Shouldn't the Cosmo Bureau be handling this? No. They'd never make it in time. You know him better than anyone else. So, you're our best shot. I'm uploading the coordinates to the shuttle's navigation system. It'll be ready when you are. So I can just... I can just take a shuttle? Oh, that is sick. Okay, give me that. You go right back in there. I like my little grippers. That is probably my health. Hey, Sasha, I know it's been a while since you really had any movement, so you wanna... You wanna do a dance with me? Okay, I'm gonna start the wave. Do 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 And then... Oh, Sasha, that was so good. Aw, oh, shucks, thanks. And now, into the shuttle we go. Open sesame. This door is... Take... What is this? What is this? Hello? Oh god. Oh god. What's... Uh, why was I dying? Why did my health go down? That is cool. Okay, I really hope that I get to pilot this. And then it's like a 14-hour a game of just me kind of slowly moving my way to Saturn. And then we get there, we rescue my friend, and it's game over. There doesn't, there doesn't really seem to be any controls right, here. There's just some stuff I need to take care of before I get out of here. Okay. I'll contact you just as soon as you've entered orbit. Um, Understood, Beta. Sure. And thanks for getting me out of here. Yeah, I do hey, appreciate just it. just another day on the job, right? Safe travels, Sasha. Flight plan loaded. Optimal route calculation completed. Initiating startup sequence. Engine parameters, green. Systems. Nominal. All checks completed. Lift off in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition. Do it, do it. Yes, yes. Oh, we're going. 
Oh yes, I love space. There is nothing I like more than space. That's where I came and did my sweet jumps. I want to see. I want to see more. There's Earth, but we're off to Saturn. Oh, goodbye. That's cool. Didn't want to look out the window anyway. Sasha? Do you read? I see you're approaching Tosca Station. Yeah, but the, the waitress didn't come through with like the peanuts. Oh my place? gosh. It's a classified scientific research facility orbiting Saturn. Okay, but why would stars go there? Well, according to his file, before being transferred to Strelka and 3 Stas was first stationed at Tosca. It's where he and Arena both met. He supervised base operations and assisted with Project Lazarus. Project Lazarus? It was Zarina's project. It's the main reason the place was built. I'd love to tell you more about it, but I'm not authorized to access that data. Don't worry about it. We'll find some answers soon enough. Proximity alert. Approaching destination. Initiating deceleration sequence. That is so Thrusters. cool. Ready. Yes. Main drive. Ready. Inertial dampeners. Ready. All checks completed. Here we go. You nervous? I've never done this before. I mean, the last worry, time we did it in the first game, we crash landed, Just so... enjoy the ride. Hailing docking beacon. Link. Established. Calculating approach vectors. Path. Verified. Initiating docking maneuver. Yes. This is so cool. I feel like I'm actually landing at a station. I like how they interact with the window. They're kind of creepy. Alright, doing good. No crashing so far. I wonder what that one is. Is that the one that maybe Stas came in on? Alright. We didn't crash at all. I mean, that's a new record for me. Normally when I land on a planet, it's in a fiery See? plume of death. Told you it'd be a piece of cake. It's like they're rolling out the red carpet for me. I just love how the glass looks. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at the ring of Saturn. That's gotta be Stas' shuttle. It is, yes. The ship is still broadcasting the distress signal. Oh, there might be a secret down there. Look at the size of this planet. Oh, this reminds me of Lone Echo 2. And I just, I can't get over how beautiful that is. This is a Volgravian base, and we're now in his shuttle. Empty. Main power is out and systems are damaged beyond repair. This thing hasn't flown in a while. Oh, man. That checks out with the transmission delay. Well, I think the only logical thing is to take a jump down there. Although I have no idea how I would get back up. Uh, maybe I'm supposed to do that? Should I check the door first and then we can come back? Yeah, let's do that. Just to, just to make sure that we don't miss anything. Come on. How cool is this? Welcome to Tosca Station. Please press the button to open the door. Okay. Yeah, I figured that wasn't gonna work. The access terminal's working, but the entrance is locked. The doors won't open. Could Stas have done this? <sighs> there must be a way to unlock them. No, I've already found the way. We just have to go jump off the edge. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> Totally almost overjumped that. This, uh, this seems good. Oh, so I could have gotten back up this entire time. That's fine. I think we need to go across here. Please don't die. Please don't die. I think that tells me where my feet are. Great, 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 great. And... Uh, da -da. Now, the original Red Matter wasn't necessarily a scary game, but it had its freaky parts. And I'm getting a little bit nervous because uh, this base definitely seems to be a bit on the freaky side. Okay, okay, there's some sort of... Ah, here we go. And then we're gonna take this bad boy, plug it in. Oh, that is so cool looking. Alright, what do we got? Move the cursor and find the... Whoa! What is happening? That is awesome! Move the cursor and find the correct projection position to bypass the security lock. Oh! Find the correct position in 3D space. 
Oh, I see. So you can kind of see the space that I need to fill in here. Got it. So I just had to kind of connect the green lines with the red lines. Hi, yeah. little buddy. Vlad is sending me a message. The virtual logic assistance drive? It's got to be tapping into my suit's systems via the access port. Greetings, stranger. Trying to get in the naughty way, I see. Didn't they teach you not to fiddle around with AI security protocols? Please stop it. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Hell yes. Okay, can I, can I take myself out of here now? So there has to be something with this, but I can't seem... I need to find a wheel. Is there a wheel that I can use? Gotta be something around here. Ah, there we go. Come on. Up, 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 and we're gonna turn it. There we go. Ah, switch to this. Easy. I am a clever boy. Clever boy. Hold the object at the base of your hand to store it. Oh, so I have a little inventory down there. That is neat. Perfect. All right, then we put the wheel smack on there. And we are now making things turn, which is good. I see red over there, which is maybe bad, but I don't care. Let's open this door. I think we did it. I think we opened the front door. Don't worry, Stas. Your boy, he's coming for you. Wow, the door doesn't really seem to be very open, but I'm sure when I run on over there, it'll open wide for me. The station is massive. How'd they keep it hidden? Space is vast, Sasha. If you're not looking for it, you'll never find it. I mean, that's fair. I'm really hoping Stas is right on the other side of this door, and he's just gonna run into my arms and we'll embrace like old Fort. friends. Excellent. Let's get inside. Um, Stas? Buddy? I don't think he's in here. Okay, yeah, no, that's fine. Guessing they're gonna have to depressurize everything. The scrolls and the wheat crown. Tosca's emblem symbolizing knowledge and wisdom. All right, there's the pressurization. Oh, it is getting very foggy. I hope this isn't poison. It, wait, <sighs> ow! What's going on? Uh, are you okay? No, I'm yeah, getting it's hurt. Nothing. Just a slight headache. I'm fine. Yeah, I really doubt that I'm actually fine. My vision is blurred. I'm getting hurt whenever there's a pressurization difference. Uh, something must be happening with my new body and my old brain. Okay. So far, so good. Uh, that thing just printed out a piece of paper. So, logically, we're just gonna go grab that. Hello, how you doing? Uh, what does this say? Greetings again, unknown intruder. I didn't think you'd have the nerve to show up. Uh, I, I absolutely do. Clearly, I was wrong. Okay, you don't need to print, like, a new piece of paper for every single one of these. Your presence is unwelcome here. Please turn around and vacate the premises at once. If you fail to comply, I will be forced to engage the station's auto defense systems. Ah. Uh, yeah, no, that definitely seems like a threat that is going toward me, and since I don't really have any weaponry, you've got yourself a deal. Okay, Stas, I tried, man. I'm, uh, I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Oh, who am I fooling? The system has been offline for weeks now. Dude, I was about to leave. Lately, the maintenance and care once invested in the station have been non-existent at best. Ah, oh, well, that was, a, that was a very boastful threat, but I'm gonna try and get things back online. By the way, have you seen Stas anywhere? The locker room. That could be important, but I want to check out all the supplies over here first. We got some lights. We got hammers. Access terminals. There has to be something useful. Cargo bay plans, container layout. And this looks like some sort of medical area. Yep, the medical bay. Yeah, this terminal has been taken apart. Great. Do you think you can fix it? Maybe, yeah. Some components look damaged. Others are missing altogether. I'll see what I can do. 
No idea if I'm going to need that, but we might as well keep it. Probably have to get in there, so let's go check out the locker room. Uh-oh, girl coming through. Don't be naked. I'm ready. I'm ready to punch ya. Okay, that's fine. I think I know how to... Ooh. Spacesuits. Creepy spacesuits. Map of the layout. All rooms adjacent to the main. So this is where I am. That's the entrance. That is where I think we have to go. Hi, everybody. How are we all doing today? No one really creepy standing in here? That's great. I remember that poster from the first game. Do you feel worthy of joining the Volgravian elite? Enlist now and make your motherland proud. Communication relay is malfunctioned. Vlad reboot. Full recalibration of 3D printer. The communications relay is failing again. Maybe if we had a competent chief of engineering. Stas, I need to see you ASAP at the terraform control room. Oh, okay, that's from Irina though. So that had to have been before the original events. The new heat sensors just arrived. Okay, great, great, great. I like that I can move these. Is there anything important in these lockers? Polyakov? How the hell did that worm ever get posted at Tosca? Ugh, I never liked him. Something about him just always felt off. Sasha, scan Polyakov's ID keycard to load his credentials into your suit's memory bank. Yeah, yeah, but first I want to really smoke this hoagie. A proud moment for a proud man. Yeah, I'm sure, buddy. Look at you, you both look so happy. Volgravian decoration, highest honor of all. Following orders. Ugh, lame. Stamp, stamp, stamp. Get that security code. From Polyakov. What else we got in here? Oh, it's Stas and Irina. They look happy, they do. Very happy. Polyakov is already getting on my nerves. Besides, I don't know why he needs the communication relay at all. Stas. Made with leather from our finest cows. Wow. Those are some nice boots. That, that is something. Okay, hold on. There's something here. That, that could be important. Uh, let me just take this. Put that in my wrist. And more chess stuff. Chess is very important in red matter. I'm sorry. It's just that I'm feeling a little bit dizzy lately. Slight discomfort and nausea. Irina. I wonder if she was pregnant. Father and son immortalize memories of a happy past. And then here we have a chessboard. Oh, look at the size of this plunger. It's so tiny. It's like for the sink, although that's not really the same type. Okay, we need to... It has been a long time and I have no idea when this new American body of mine brushed its teeth. Oh, that feels real good. I am taking a shower. This, this, come on, turn it on. I'm so dirty. A dirty, filthy slob. Well, at least I can take a shit. Oh yeah, that looks sanitary. Let's just um, make sure this is nice and clean first. There we go. And of course they're out of toilet paper. Uh, one second. Oh god. No. Oh. Huh. Oh snap, never mind, I found the toilet paper. I can go wipe my butt. Let's see if we can actually... No, no, I can't. I can't have it that way. It has to face this way. Oh, this game is the greatest game of all time. Guessing that will go right in there. Hmm, probably don't need that. I need to find something for that. Access terminal scan module? Would, would that do it? Nah. Anything in the boots? Did I miss something? She was hiding something in the boots. I don't see anything there. I love the interaction in this. That is great. Wait, we have something right here. Oh, okay. This is telling me what I need. And this is exactly it. We have our new TV. Oh, I was right there the entire time. Just, just, you gotta go, go in. You have to, no, you go in. You go in through this way? This way. Hello? Oh, damn, I'm missing a lot of stuff. We need to find the, the casing. Then this goes, and then the TV. I think we just found our answer. Okay, that should be everything. Also need you. Perfect. Perfect. I did it. That is how you become an engineer. You just put it all there, and it works. Okay, and then uh, we scan. Oh, 
Great. Now, scan the terminal's sensor to load Polyakov's ID credentials. I did it. Way to go, Sasha. Let's keep it up. Well, okay, Beta. I will. Hey, uh, hey, Stas? You out here, buddy? Just looking for my buddy Stas. Alright, now that's cool. Just glad that that closed by itself. I do like this room. A lot of natural light from the, the rings of Saturn. Okay, really not enjoying this. What? What? Well, at least I'm not covered in any white stains. Oh, how many times are you going to do this? Oh, three. We're going to do it three times. Dude. This is beautiful. Oh, shit. Wait, what? What's wrong? Oh, blood. Blood stains. Must be from stars. I'll have a look around. Dried up blood stain, yeah. That's the only logical explanation I can come up with. Schematics of the Allski Autosurgeon. So you just kinda jump in there and it fixes you up. And then we have an eye chart. Alright, let's see how well I do. Uh, 7 P E triangle. Nailed it. Oh my gosh, there's actual liquid physics too? Well done, Red Matter. Well done. Alright, we got some x-rays. Parietal lobe. And that is a bullet. That is the bullet that Stas was shot with. And yet he survived. Well done, Stas. Anesthesia machine? Not used recently. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. You went through the full pain in there. There is the bullet. Dude, you took this out of you. Oh, that is nasty, but you know what? Props, dude. Absolute props. Wow. I mean, this... This you do not see every day. It is gorgeous. And the way the glass has reflections. Our two little ships, don't worry, Stas. I am gonna find you. Oh, look at me. I think I was supposed to do that. What do we have here? Oh boy, we have a puzzle. Pretty simple, just have to connect. Uh, so wait, this is gonna have to go like that. Okay, what if this, ah, here we go, here we go. Okay, figuring it out, slowly but surely. This goes this way, got it. I am so brilliant. Now that will open, not the door. Where the hell does this thing lead? Oh, all right, pop that out. And what are we going to learn? Uh, this one, please. Okay, this one. All right, this one. Sounds good. This one, perfect. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Holy crap. Stas, buddy. They just ripped that bullet out of you, huh? The machine was able to extract the bullet, and his condition looks stable. I'm glad to hear he's okay. Don't worry, Sasha. We'll find him. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know how stable he looked. He was wincing and screaming a lot and then limping away, but, you know, other than that, totally stable. Are you gonna do the same thing? Come on. You know I'm cured. Uh, I mean, so far, we really haven't stumbled upon anything. These were not easy to get, especially on such short notice, but for you, anything. Aw, oh, thank you, Stas. I know you're probably talking to Irina, but I'm going to assume that it was for me, and that's really sweet of you, buddy. I just can't get over this view. All right, what do we have here? The terraform control room. Um, I am terribly sorry, intruder, but that door is currently locked. There is no way to proceed. Do you see that retinal scanner? I guess I do. Only authorized personnel are allowed access. Such a pity. It's been great fun this far. Too bad you have to leave now. Don't let the airlock hit you on your way out. <laughs> uh, I hate you so much. Looks like I am on the hunt for an eyeball. No, I didn't scoop it out. Very shiny down these hallways. Hey, Stas, buddy, I'm, I'm looking for you. 
Um, what the hell is that? Data, is that the same red matter we found on Strelka N3? It's the same, all right. Arena's project has got to be related to the red matter. That's what they were researching. For what purpose? What did you want to achieve? Not a clue, but we may be able to find out. I don't know if I want to find out. That red matter, when it's released, it spreads everywhere. And it will kill you, so to even have it here on this station is really, really terrifying. Research lab. Oh, we are going to find some more red matter in here, aren't we? Oh, how often do I have to go through this? Holy guacamole, that is a lot of containers. What the hell am I supposed to do in here besides... Look at these really cool liquid physics. Yes. Stas, I can't do this anymore. They are using this base to store military cargo and they are trying to. I agree to help build this base with the intent of doing some good. I am not going to sit back and watch it become a military warehouse. Cosmo Bureau denied your request, Irina. Orders are orders. Your rebellious attitude is going to get you in trouble. Formal request to refuse storage of military grade cargo. Well, you gave it your best shot, Irina. So sorry that it did not work out for you. Ooh, look at this. All right, well, I guess we can only look at it. We can't really touch it. Oh, there is some science going on in this building. Yes, science! So this is not powered. That's cool. Maybe this crazy machine this can do it. This lab is fully equipped. It's even got a dedicated server terminal. Perfect, just what I'd hoped for. I'll need you to send me the data stored on those servers. Um, sure. I can do that. Oh, here we go again. Alright, let's see if I can do this a bit better this time. Wait, what? Where? Oh, I see. Okay, it has to go right. Oh, okay. That was actually the right spot. I will initiate the data transfer. I don't like all the red text, but that looks really Great. cool. Got it. I'll look for anything that might trace back to Stas. Wait, what did you just do? I can't believe it. Do you mock me entirely for fun, perhaps? That was some highly sensitive information you just sent out there, intruder. I should have known better. You reeked of trouble from the moment you first set foot in this base. Well, I mean, I haven't showered in a while. Uh, can we turn the blood bank on? Oh, I'm gonna make myself an eye. That is really creepy, but sure. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, but what eye do I want? Uh, maybe I should check out whatever this is first. Organ selector panel. Oh, that is... that is disgusting. Oh, I have no idea what I'm doing. Ah, uh, but we don't... we want this. So, dot, dot. Is this... is this important? Should I... should I not destroy that jug of blood? All right, so the eyeball is these two right there at the bottom. And I really don't know what is next. Oh, there are so many options, but that one is actually glowing yellow. So maybe I can snag whatever the hell's in there. Come on. I mean... That's the only one that was glowing yellow, so it has to be important, right? Is it going to shoot it up? Oh, that's so cool. Thank you, Mr. Handle. I really appreciate it. Uh, do I have to put it in, like, a centrifuge? Yup. Shake that baby up. Do, 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 do. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake that blood. Shake that blood. Did that go? I mean, that seems like it goes in there. So... We have blood. I'm going to assume that you go right in here. Man, maybe? Do I have to like undo the top? Eh, eh. Mm. Oh, because it doesn't go in there. It goes up here. I'm just an idiot. I just have to pay attention. Oh, no, that's not good. Now I think we're good. And create. Oh, that is gross. Oh, that is, I mean, that's just resin. But the blood, that's going to go into the 3D printer, and it's going to create an actual organs, eyeball? Blood samples. I'm just not seeing the connection to the red matter. I'm still working on those files you sent me. I think I'm 
real close to finding some answers. Dude. Oh, that is... That is trippy, but I love how the light plays through the eyeball. That is some fine quality. Okay, we can go open that door now. Hey, Red Matter. Hope you're doing well. Hello, beautiful view. Hello, beautiful eyeball. There we go. Just shove that right there. Did, did that not work? I think it's just looking at me. Do I have to put this in my eye? Oh man, that just, there is so much detail when you bring that really close to you. How do I, how do I do this? Is this not the right eye? Did I, did I grab the wrong blood? I think maybe I had to choose like a different blood or something. Hey, red matter. K, whatever that symbol is. It's yellow because that's what I'm selecting. So that's the one we're looking for. I'm just an idiot. I just chose a blood at random. That one. That one seems to be the right blood. Oh yeah. You know it's good blood when there's a biohazard warning. Molecular acid. It must be using it for blood. Oh right, we should probably throw it on there. Make sure it shakes up my blood nice and good. Wee. Thank you very much. Okay, eyeball attempt number two. This is the one. This is the eyeball that's going to get us through that door. Or it's going to kill everyone. Because I made it out of, like, some terrible chemical blood. I mean, seems like the same as the other eye. Um... Um, no, 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 let me back in. This is not what I wanted. This is, oh, we are in the upside down. Beta, do you read me? Shit. Oh, dude. Just look at the texture on this thing. Okay. Okay, this is some sort of trick that my mind is playing on me because it's not adjusted to being in the new American body. This is totally normal. I'm just dreaming it. This isn't actually happening. I just saw the red matter and I thought I was supposed to turn right. Maybe it is. No, it is a left turn and then a right turn. Oh, this is awful. Look at all the stuff in the air. Can I scan it? Unknown biomass, a pulsating energy is running through it. I mean, look at them. They're all be... Huh. I don't remember that being there. What the hell is happening? 